All right. What's up, Twitch? What's up, YouTube? It's FJ. What's up? And this is Bratcast 80. I know I haven't been here in the last three weeks just because I've been so swamped with work and photo shoots. I've been working late, so I wasn't able to have a podcast in a little while, but I'm back about a year ago. Back in December, I got this email from this company called the Canadian Business Review Board, CBRB. They sent me an email saying that my business uh, exemplified like b the best business practices in 2022 and I was eligible for this gold certification award. And with that award, uh, it, it, it's el you're eligible as long as you have a Google rating of four plus stars. So, which I did, I had I have a five star Google rating. So then um, you have to click on this application form so if they say that you won, but then you click on this application form uh, to put all your business information, contact information, and then they'll tell you that you, congratulations, you qualify, you are eligible, and for a fee, an annual fee, you get to this gold badge that you put on your website. You get to say like you're a CBRB award winner, gold award winner for 2022, and they give you an Instagram post on their social media and post you on their directory on their website. It's like their business directory listing. So guys, this was the video that I made. A lot of companies have seen this video and it has prevented them from like signing up for this, for this, I'm gonna say bogus award. Um, but this, this like to dislike ratio, you know, all the comments have been like a positive feedback from people who've seen this video, although that like to dislike ratio, I think they might have created, they, they, I'm sure they know about this video by now and they're not a fan of me. Um, they are like an actual, I guess, business. They, they exist. Uh, they have an, uh, I think they operate here out of Toronto, uh, Scarborough or, or uh, Markham. And uh, yeah, I think maybe they created like a bot, like bot accounts, or maybe they reached out to all their existing customers who already fell for it in the past to like look at this video and dislike it. I don't know. But uh, according to the comments, no one said anything like bad in the comments. They've like all, everyone's just really been thanking me for the warning. But for some reason I get all these like dislikes for without anyone saying anything negative in the comments. But anyway, moving forward guys. So it's been a, almost a year and with with the feedback that I've gotten of you know all these companies that have thanked me for not like you know uh, they they go and see this video it it pulls on their heartstrings because you know as as a business owner you feel pride that wow I won this gold award it it would be so good for me to put on my website that now I'm award winning uh, for like one of the best businesses in whatever category it is I'm photography I've seen them you know go for like auto auto services. Um, restaurants, realty, like real estate, uh, lawyers, uh, design companies, they'll reach out to any company. I think this whole four star Google plus rating, maybe that is true that they'll like uh, limit themselves to just approach businesses with four stars rating. But I, I don't, I don't know if that's really true because they're just giving it to anybody who's willing to pay for it. One of the examples that I found on Reddit, uh, there's a, there's a couple threads on the CBRB on Reddit of like how how much of a scam it is. Is this guy made up a company? He, like the company doesn't exist, but he reached out to them and asked them about it, and they're like, yeah, fill out this form and we'll see if you're eligible. And he fills out the form with bogus information, like completely like made up information of a company, and they replied back saying, congratulations, you you qualify and you you are eligible for the CBRB gold award and for a fee of, I think they, they, they were offering that guy $1,500, $1,500. You get, you know, a directory listing, uh, social media posts and all that. So guys, I, if you can, I would, I highly recommend watching this, this video on YouTube. If, especially if they reach out to you and you're like wondering, Oh, can I get this badge on my website? Is it like really, um, is there anything behind it? But basically it's just the company that came up with a really good company name. It's called Canadian Business Review Board. It is not like a national 
Canadian like government body. It's not some actual um, evaluation board or anything like that that looked at your business and like qualified you to see if you are like an actual credible business. It's not like the Better Business Bureau. It's not some like New York Times or like uh, Toronto or whatever. Like it's not like an official organized organization. It's it is a company though uh, with a really good name, a really good website name, like company name, Canadian Business Review Board. But there's nothing really Canadian about it. There's no like government entity attached to it. Um, they're even offering the same thing to American companies. Like I'll have uh, links in the description too, but they have three Instagram accounts all with some sort of iteration of CBRB or Canadian Business Review Board but they're offering a CBRB American division, like they're America, USA. So they're even like offering this product to US customers because they know how much money it makes them. Like I, I'm, I'm afraid to say that I think hundreds or maybe thousands of companies have fallen for this and have given them money. So over the year, you know, I get really positive feedback from this video and I you know I'm, I'm pretty happy that I'm helping a lot of people out there and not get scammed by this company and I'm sure they're really not happy with me because basically anytime they send out an email to any company in Canada maybe even the US I'm sure that company Googles them just like I did like I googled them too and the very first hit is their website this is their website I already talked about it in the other uh, video here um, <clears throat> but now when you Google CBRB, my video, cause YouTube is huge. My video does come up as one of the top hits and it says, beware, don't do it. So people click that and I'm happy that I help people out. Four points since star rating, 42 Google reviews <clears throat> for the CBRB. Okay. I'm just going to pull up quickly their Instagram. So you guys can check it out. 30,000 followers following 4,700 accounts, okay? And you can see all their posts are best businesses in Canada, you know, dance, nails, uh, I guess dental offices, tattoo artists, restaurants, realty. And this is the new one, guys. Yeah, these these magazine posts is what I've 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 come to uh, discover more recently okay so jewelry company car company so guys 30,000 followers okay 4,000 following but when you look at them on Google 42 Google reviews okay like if it's if if they have 30,000 followers you know, and they're following 4,000 people. Why is it that they only have 42 Google reviews? Okay, that's just the question that comes in. My, like, shouldn't that be in the hundreds maybe? Like, do you, you know what I mean? Like, anyway, it's one of the things that came up in my head. Anyway, so it's been over almost a year now, and I'm, I'm happy with the, the fact that I've been able to help out certain people, uh, or at least a lot of businesses from wasting their money on, on this you know this website with this directory they have where is their directory so you know apparently this is good see best businesses in America there's an, a US directory a Canadian directory you click that and they they have categories but it's like unless you know about the CBRB like let's say you're a client looking for a dance school and that math don't add up you can check with followers on the grammar oh yeah I have already I already have dude uh, I've already checked a number of these, a lot of them are bots. Um, this was like oh, oh, about a year ago. So let's say again, like I'm some, I'm a customer looking for whatever these categories are, financial planners, indoor playgrounds, library, liquor store, painting services. You're going to go on Google and you're going to type in painting services in my area or your, you know, whatever like that. This directory, actually, I, I don't think this directory provides any kind of value unless you already know about CBRB and go to the CBRB to look at this directory. So like 
the people who are paying, maybe they, maybe they're the already existing customers will go to this website and use this as a directory for them. But it's, it's nationwide. Like, it's not like you're going to be able to find a bookstore. You know, there's two bookstores listed here. One's in Ontario, Brampton. One's in Westmount, Quebec. Right? But if I was, I was out in Alberta or Saskatchewan or New Brunswick looking for, uh, looking for, uh, what, like, what was that? I think it was that a library that I was just looking at? Bookstore? I'm not going to go to this website and use this website to find one. Do you know what I mean? So, so I was able to look through LinkedIn and, you know, I, I, I looked at some of these posts that they had. They even have a YouTube page. I'm going to pull it up, guys, here. CBRB YouTube. Oh, my video is going to come up. Um, and another video there, too. But if you go to YouTube, CBRB. There. So they have seven subscribers. About a dozen videos couple dozen videos of promotional videos for certain companies that paid for it I'm pretty sure they paid for it and I've reached out I I just I wanted to do some more digging guys just to see you know if if uh, they if they're have they changed their model since then or like are they actually providing any kind of value so I reached out to some of these companies I also found some here on on Instagram I tried to reach out to more of the local ones and LinkedIn too because I, I looked up CBRB on LinkedIn LinkedIn's a pretty credible social media uh, platform now for businesses in Canada and a number of companies have also listed like they were reached out to and they're like I'm happy to say that I won or my company has been eligible for the CBRB verified gold award and I, I read their post about it. So it tells me that unfortunately that company fell for it. And I sent them an email to be like, hey, I just wanted to ask you directly, like, what's the experience like? Did you get any kind of value out of, you know, your subscription with them or your, I, I don't know what you would call it, if it's a subscription or your uh, affiliation with them. And, you know, one company, did recently respond respond back to me and i think out of fairness i'm I'm not going to uh like call them out on it because they were nice enough to reply uh but i will say that the reply itself seemed a little odd to me uh this is a company that's based out out west western canada um and when they replied back to me uh what you saying is CBRB is fake news. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's fake news. I, I could, you can say that, but at the same time, uh, they, they, they exist. They actually have some office. It's really hard to find them. I had to look at the Better Business Bureau, uh, to find like an actual address. The address actually matches another address of this media company that makes videos and like takes photos and videos and makes like, you know, digital content, dig social media content. So kind of makes it out. So like maybe started off as a media company and then they came up with CBRB as a nice official sounding name and then trick people into using their media services to make these social media posts, these little promotional videos on, on uh, YouTube like here or these posts on this website of all these winners or whatever like that. So same address. It's like in Scarborough here in Ontario uh, it's just so fishy so when I reached out to this company they replied back and I asked them like yeah what what was the kind of like value that you got out of it um, and when they replied it was it was a lengthy email it was like uh, I'd say we went back and forth maybe two or three times and it almost felt like the person who replied back to me was affiliated like works for them like it was some, maybe some like promotional uh, agent or something like that because spoke highly of them. And I asked them, okay, well, this, you know, this is the video I made about them because I, I looked them up on like Reddit and like 
I, I found other posts about them on YouTube and a lot of people have also said that they got reached out to, but it was fishy. So that's why they Googled it and then they found my video. Uh, so uh, to this point, I'm sure this person has already seen this, my video, my YouTube video about them. And he, he says, basically he said like, despite the disin, almost like disingenuous or maybe like fishy way they reached out to people saying, yeah, you're eligible for an award. He's saying that after they paid $800, I think they paid $800 for the year that the reward of this uh, CBRB certification was well worth the investment. And I'm like, well, and he, I didn't ask, have to ask him, he went through why. So besides the Facebook, pro, or uh, sorry, the promotional ads on Instagram and whatever Facebook, um, they, they're saying that having someone else do that social media stuff for them, it, is a lot better than paying like this, you know, advertising fee on Facebook or Instagram where, you know, you, you put all this like monthly money towards promotion, but you barely get anything back. He's saying that with the CBRB award, they can put award winning on their website. They post a bunch of backlinks. I don't know what that means where he says they offer backlinks for SEO purposes. So search engine optimization. So I guess there's some SEO guy there too who who might give you some, like, I don't know what backlinks are, but uh, they'll, they'll probably put something in your website code or something like that that gives you a lot of additional uh, traffic to your website or traffic to your social media. Is it bot related? I highly think so. I feel like it's, I feel like there's still no validity to what they're actually providing you but they make it appear as it as it does. And one of the main things this guy said in his email and his reply to me was, um, he said that despite how fishy the introduction was, it was able to raise the company morale and like motivation factor. Because when they heard that, wow, our business like won, like we won this prestigious award, this gold award, it like pushed the morale in the in the bit in the company. Um, it also, you because they were able to put award winning on their website. It also pushed their uh, promotional uh, uh, presence online as well. And and I replied back. I I I thanked him for like, you know, listing out five different points of like how how positive of an experience it was for them to uh, to pay that $800 for that one year, the welcome benefit. Um, I, I replied back saying, okay, so you're saying that they still provided you value with, you know, the actual promotional post being listed on that directory, even though who's looking through that directory. But do you confirm then that they are actually not some sort of official official evaluating company like that's related to like a Canadian official government like body. And he's like, yeah, they are a company that came up with a really brilliant name. Like it's a really brilliant eye catching name. And it's going to like f even on like potential customers because it's it says Canadian Business Review Board. It just sounds like it's just sounds very impressive and legitimate, but that's it though. Like, and he's saying there's value in that. There's value in having something, even though it's, I'm going to say fake. And the only reason why I'm going to use the word fake is because again, there, there, there's no actual evaluation process. It's just, as long as you pay, you get it. So even if a customer sees that on your website, CBRB gold verified award winning, it's just that catchphrase, that like flashy word. It's like a keyword that people are going to be like, oh, nice. So then that, that means I can trust this company to do whatever I need them to do. But then that's, isn't that manipulative? Isn't, isn't that dishonest? Like you're going to base promoting your company on an award that's kind of bogus. Isn't that dishonest? Like, isn't that bad for people? Like, why do you want that kind of reputation where you're going to show potential customers, hey, look, 
I am this law firm or I am this photographer, but I won this gold award. You can trust that I am a good and responsible company. But then that award comes from a company that's not legitimate. So it's like, anyway, it, 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 it annoyed me. Of course, I wasn't like, I, I didn't reply back, be like, oh, how I, I'm, I think you're fishy. Like, why would you do this? I asked like, like legitimate questions to follow up. I wrote this long email. You know, I appreciate you taking the time again to explain how, how everything is going with you. Um, and then at the end of my video, uh, um, sorry, at the end of my last email, I asked them, will you be renewing your subscription to them? Are you going to, are you going to pay for it again? If it's such a high, uh, return on investment, $800 for the year, and they were able to get this company to get them SEO for a year, social media posts for a year. I don't know if it's really for a year. Cause I feel like there's probably just one. I don't think it's monthly. Uh, and again, maybe they get a YouTube video, a promotional video, but the biggest thing is that they get to put an, an award badge on their website and it says gold certified. And so they can feel like apparently that brings in traffic to your website. Uh, hold on. Sorry. There was a comment nab saying it reminds me of McDonald's saying they use hundred percent beef in their burgers and they're using a company called hundred percent beef. Exactly. Dude, that's exactly it. And it, it's one of those tricks. Like how is, how is that some, like even that. The hundred percent beef thing for McDonald's. How is that okay? How is that like legal? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, how did they get away with that? Just like this. How did they get away with this? And they're still operating. And it's like they have a. I'm sure they're registered business. I'm sure they they have to pay taxes uh, and like they you know, report their income and uh, they charge HST. I'm sure to like all their customers or, or uh, tax to any of their international now with us and Canadian customers. So I asked them in my last email, will you be continuing your subscription? Cause it's true. If I, I'm a, a business here in Ontario, Toronto, and I want to pay for SEO that can range from like maybe $30 to a couple hundred dollars a month. If you really want to be at the top of the Google listing, right? But you know what? Let's, uh, no, I don't even know how you could. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's, let's look at this guys. Randomly. I'll just do this right now. Fingerprinting services. There's just one it's in, it's in Quebec. So Montreal, Quebec fingerprinting services, and this is agents and print Oh, you know what? Let's just, let's go with something a little bit. Oh, sorry. Let's just pick some random thing here. I don't know something mortgage brokers. Okay. Cause there's a ton, there's a ton of mortgage brokers. Okay. So best mortgage brokers in Canada, 2022, Toronto, Mississauga, Calgary, sorry, BC. Okay. So I'm going to look up Toronto, Toronto mortgage broker. Okay. Add, 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 add. Obviously these are people paying for ads at the top and then you see the, the number one hit here, Toronto, Toronto mortgage brokers and agents at rate hub, Clover mortgage, Clover mortgage. So this is pretty high SEO wise, true North mortgage. Okay. True North. They probably paid SEO to get, you know, top, top hit in Google Clover mortgage. I'm sure there's search engine optimization for them to be near the top listing in Google. Okay. Let's look up. If Clover Mortgage or True North is on this listing. Okay, True. So I just did a search for True in this listing. You know, it's not there. Clover, not here either. Okay. Let's look up one of them. Uh, Antonio Ray, CA Mortgage Group. I said Toronto, right? I looked up Toronto, so mortgage B. Like if they're providing SEO, we should see those in the top. Uh, oh my God. There's like 12 ads on the first page of Google. Is there even any, there's just ads guys. Like how do you even Canadian mortgage co mortgage broker store anyway. Apparently the, 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 the value here is the fact that 
these guys are supposed to be pushed so that they get more awareness and more uh, traffic onto their website. But I, I, I'm not seeing that correlation in terms of Google hits anyway, you know? So this is, sorry, I, I'm going on too long about, about this particular part. Uh, I was grateful that this company that I reached out to out West replied back to me and they, they showed me this, they attached this photo for me. Um, I asked him, will you be renewing uh, your subscription to CBRB? And his, his reply was, no, they don't really see the value in paying again for another year. He spoke so highly of that first year, but then if it's, if it's, such, a, if it's such a good return on investment for a year, then why wouldn't you do that again for the next year at like a fraction of the cost, like a renewal package? 2023 is only 250 250 bucks silver you get the same as bronze oh it's because you need the badge it's it's really this verification certificate and badge for 450 which is just an image file guys and a pdf file i'm sure or something like that whatever you can list on your website easily you're paying 450 dollars for this like digital image that means nothing basically okay gold membership everything in silver and then you get this brand awareness program social media promotion so it sounds like yeah this is the one they push because it's the same price they paid 800 the first year around 850 you get more social media posts and a brand awareness program so maybe there's probably some sort of like i don't know maybe it's a video maybe it's like some uh business calls or like conference calls or zoom meetings or something talking about how to push your brand diamond membership renewal package everything in the gold plus a promotional video there it is another media package digital midi media package and additional promotional content one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars okay and this is the this is the last one that i wanted to look at this is what prompted me to make this video today presidential membership Okay, so includes everything in the diamond, which includes everything that we've seen already. Additional promotional video. So that's two promotional videos you get for your, your uh, company. A feature in the BNS Business News profile page. So I'm like, what is BNS Business News? An article about you, a listing on the website, social media promotions again, and promoted on, on the business, BNS Business News Instagram and their web page. Uh, and of course you get the badge, the CBRB badge and BNS badge, $2,500. I'm like, what is this BNS news? So that all of, this whole time was, uh, I know I was talking about CBRB, but now there's this thing called BNS news. So I, I went online guys and I looked that up. Okay, BNS, business news source. This website, I gotta say, looks a lot more impressive than the CBRB website. Uh, you know, this is supposed to be Canadian national, uh, it sounds like a national review board or whatever, but that was their website. This is business news source. They have this global index, I guess, of, I, I don't really know what this, but it looks very, uh, official, you know, winner magazine, business lifestyle news tips giving back to the community. They have a bunch of categories here, global affairs, legal, lifestyle, productivity. You click on any of these, they have various articles, all from 2022. Do you need a social media manager? Pros and cons of hiring a virtual assistant. So they have, so they have articles up here, content. You know, may, perhaps helpful content, Sure. Uh, Winner Magazine. This is the this is the thing. This is the thing that they sell. Okay, so I looked BNS up on Instagram. This is their Instagram, which looks a lot like the recent posts on the CBRB. If you think about, you know, kind of like that magazine kind. Look at this. Winner, 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 winner. Gold certification. BNS. Winner, 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 winner. They have CBRB badges 
on these posts here on BNS. 22,000 followers, 539 posts, about 4,000 following. CBRB, 30,000 followers, about 5,000 following, 2,000 posts. So quite a bit of number of posts. So BNS might be new. It might be a, a newer uh, company name that they came up with. I decided to look up the BNS on the Better Business Bureau because that's what I did originally with the CBRB. Okay, nothing about BNS on the Bez Better Business Bureau. Although it has a C minus, this business is not BBB accredited. One complaint, but when I try to read complaints, it's not written here, not, you can't read that complaint. But I saw this, this is what prompted me to go a little further. 1490 Denison Street, Markham, Ontario. That's actually fairly close to where I live. Okay. There's a spelling error here on Denison. Should only be one N. But I Googled this. I Googled this address. And oh, my phone just responded to that. I Googled this address. And this comes up. 1490 Denison Street, Markham. And two of these companies are in this address. CBV Collection Services, 1.3 stars, Google rating at 55 reviews, and then Affinity Global, 1.3 stars, 239 Google reviews. Affinity Global, okay, I have that here. I looked at the reviews, a bunch of one star reviews. There should be no star. My experience as the agent working was very bad in this company. So this guy worked there. As the work is done according to the guidance with with who are coaching as managed, they have their own attitude to train and their own opinions every single time whenever they tell us what to do. This is an employee, I guess, from there. I, like many others, keep receiving automated voicemails from these losers about an important business matter. Block their number. I would give them zero stars if I could. This woman called, kept calling my husband to collect a past due balance. So that's weird. Affinity Global, I think he meant for maybe for the CBV collection services. When I looked up Affinity Global here, it says BPO Company in Markham, Ontario. Okay. And then when I look up what, I didn't know what BPO was. So what's a BPO? Business Process Outsourcing. A business practice in which an organization contracts an external service provider to perform an essential business function or task. So it sounds like a call center, guys, uh, where... These are the people who call out and reach out to whatever various companies for either collection services or maybe to recruit them for the CBRB award to you know qualify them uh, to get them to like sign up, get their payment information, and maybe finally pay and sign up for that subscription. Uh, so, guys, there's there's that trail. There's the there's the how deep does the rabbit hole go? Started with the CBRB, Canadian Business Review Board. That re that's and they reached out to me, and that's the only reason why I started looking them up. And then because of this, you know, I I found a YouTube, an Instagram. I sent an email to a company that actually signed up with them. Fishy kind of response back, but you know, I still respect the time he took the time to res uh, write back to me. Uh, he told me about how much it built morale in his company, or like. It builds awareness of their customer base for their business. But again, it seems very disingenuous and and like dishonest to try and promote your company as some legitimate gold certified thing when the certification comes from a company that has no backing, that has no actual credentials. And then he sends me an email a reply talking about the renewal membership packages. And this is where I got this information bronze, silver, gold, diamond, and presidential membership pulls up BNS. And now this BNS, I don't know, guys. I really hope there's not a lot of people who've been signing up for BNS. Top Professionals Lead Winner Magazine. Nice looking badge you can put. And I, I, I get it. Like, there's a lot of websites out there, you know, law firms and uh, even accounting firms that, or even Realty, where they put all these badges of all the awards you won. I see them in emails, too. Uh, you're like emailing certain companies and in the signature of the email, you see all the awards that this company has won. They're just flash keywords of award, winner, gold, certified, certification. You see all these flashy words, but no one looks deeper into what these awards, where these awards really come from. 
And I guess that's what this company plays on. Just that ego factor. Just... And these are... I think all these people are just... I'm unfortunately, like, fell for it. I'm, I didn't want to use the word suckers, but, like, these people are paying any, up, uh, anywhere between 500 to $2,500 a year to get a post on a website with probably more than 50% of these followers are bots. You may... Your mileage may vary, guys. If it if it's done a lot for you, if you if you watch this video, and you've signed up with CBRB or BNS, and uh, you you paid for for one of these posts, please comment below. Like reach out to me. Let me know how much it's helped your business, because I I feel like we should put a stop to stuff to stuff like this. This bogus playing on people's egos and like. Um, Oh, I don't know. It's it it makes me sad to see all these people who paid for this. Oh, actually, guys, look at this. This guy has been posted a number of times. So, maybe this guy paid for the whole year and he's getting it. He's he's getting multiple posts. It's the same photo. So, yeah. Crash test dummy Mike. I know, man. Like This is probably part of the package that he paid for, like regular posts right like media media posts this was may 26 may 26 so since may of when this was i'm gonna say published he got four postings of the same thing i don't think he's gonna show up again if it started in may anyway it makes me sad um i'm gonna i don't know i i was hoping that i was gonna be able to like condense this video and shorten it so that like you know if people do look this up on YouTube I, I could hopefully save people some money every year uh, from falling for this I'm gonna use the word scam I just don't understand how this uh, can like continue to operate I guess it's not that hard now to just push a website put a bunch of articles and like put a bunch of links all these keywords one of the biggest things I look for on a website is like their about section. As soon as I went to BNS for the first time, click about. I always look for an address. Like you should have a contact page with an address. Like a legitimate business generally. You know, maybe not everyone wants to put the, an address if you work out of your home, if you're like a, a home operation, but that's fine. But there's a contact page, you know, and... Uh, you couldn't find I couldn't find that in their about section. Maybe there's a way you can email them. That just brings you back to their website. So yeah, I was only able to find out who or where they were because of the Better Business Bureau. Everyone knows about the Better Business Bureau, I think. These guys, let's see. Do they have an address? Contact us. Look at that physical address, phone numbers, hours of operation. Anyway, guys, again, if if you have signed up with CBRB, or if you've signed up with BNS or any of the like where you get this award badge, did you look into that award if they ever reached out to you via email if they called you up saying congratulations, the CBRB award or the BNS award builds up the ego and like, yeah, this is going to be great for my business. And then you know, it's my my objective is not to go in in there and shatter shatter all the hope that they had or whatever uh, in terms of like raising their business awareness. But I just I don't want people to continue spending money and wasting their money on such stuff like this. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. If you have any experience, please comment down below. Let me know. Uh, let us know. Help save other businesses from perhaps making the same mistake. Or if you have good things to say, let us know too. Like if you if like that other company I reached to out west that replied back. Uh, I don't really buy it. I don't really buy the things he said. I didn't want to like you know call him out on it either because they they exist. It's an actual company that paid CBRB for uh, their award and their certification. Um, he took the time to reply to me, so thank you to that. Thank you if you if you're watching this video. Thank you for doing that. Uh, but 
just looking deeper into the, the renewal packages, it looks like this hole goes even deeper and there's even there's further further scams involved that um unfortunately a lot more other businesses are falling for. And I'm so and that's what I'm trying to stop. That's what I'm trying to like keep from happening so it's save you know, hard earned money. Like the small to medium sized business, even to maybe even large businesses. I, I don't want you guys to waste your money. Uh, it should be going towards actual things that will help your business. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully next week. Peace out, guys. Have a great one.